Hello everybody, Akarai here, and welcome back to, well, not really a welcome back, welcome to Injustice 2, um, uh, Injustice 2, um, I thought today I would do this instead of using, uh, uh, Street Fire like I normally do, um, just to explain some things that I have found in fighting games, and, you know, just to kind of explain the reason why, um, you know, why this issue, or, you know, some of you who are looking at competitive players wondering why, why it matters, which is winning, why winning matters, and, this might be a bit of a short video, but, um, you know, don't worry, it, it's going to be just a bit of a short video of me explaining the reasons why, uh, of course, um, you know, in a way, um, in a way, of course, um, winning kind of matters, in the, the eyes of a fighter um, player. Um, now, in the end, fighting games, of course, um, you know, get a lot of competitive players. Um, and because, of course, they get a lot of competitive players, um, you know, you are going to see from time to time competitive players who are going to be a little mad or a little bit like, ugh, I did not like the... The fact that I lost there, and you know, there's a reason why winning in me ma in many ways matters to a competitive player. Um, now for some of you, you may think, well, winning doesn't matter, and that's true. In many ways, we don't care if we win or lose, but we prefer to win because of the fact that by us winning, we end up um, ensuring that we are improving, we are getting over the hump, and we are. Getting to the point where, um, where we actually are, um, you know, where we actually are, um, you know, successfully at the top of our game. Mm -hmm. And because of that, that is the main reason why, of course, in many ways, winning does matter. Um, this is why winning matters, um, for the most part for us, um, at the end of the day, is because we are, um, you know, when we win, we are knowing that we are improving. We are getting to the top of our game. We are better um, than we were. For some people, for me, casual style, they take winning in a different manner. Um, because for them, winning means they're the best. They are number one. And they want to keep at number one, even if, and they don't want to be beaten. Which is why a lot of tryhards, and I call we call them tryhards, basically end up, you know, ruining the spirit of. In in many ways, they ruin the spirit of winning, because, you know, for many competitive players, we take winning as a sign that we are improving. We just beat some of the best of the best in our league, or even in our game. And many people who are losing, especially when you look at Street Fighter players now. Many of them are pretty much kind of casual based uh, players, and they hate losing, you know, and you know why the reason they hate losing is because of the fact that they don't have the temperament of seeing it as, oh, that was a better opponent to me. Now I got someone who I've got to try to beat. Now I've got someone who I've got to try to, um, you know, who I've got to try to take on to, to win, um, you know, to win the next time I meet them. Now, I do apologize for some of the video quality. I think my, um, my, uh, my Elgato kind of did a little bit of a goofy on, um, I'm super girl. You did a little bit of a goofy up? on the recording, like so, um, Begin. you know. So I do apologize about that, but, um, you know, and hopefully some of my other future videos don't have the same problem. But, um, you know, that's the reason why winning matters to most of us pro and competitive players. It's a sign that for us, we are improving. We have just beaten someone who might have been considered one of the best, one of the top league challengers. And we literally showed them, you know, basically another sign, a new, a new um, you know, a new, um, you know, we, we proved to them that we are a little bit of a better opponent. And it's a sign of improvement for us that if we beat this person who was basically beating everyone, 
You know, it doesn't matter if they had 5 wins, it doesn't matter if they have 10 wins, it doesn't matter if they have 20 wins. We beat this person because we had better skill than they did. And that's why winning, for many of us competitive players, many of us um, pro players, for many of the pro players, and many of us who are kind of getting back into maybe going pro or being competitive, you know, that's why we love winning. You know, the reason we love winning is because of that. It's because it's a feeling that, oh my gosh, we are improving. For many casual players or many people who are young, you know, the sign of winning is a sign of them going, oh yeah, I'm the best. I'm literally better than everyone else in the world. I don't need, you know, I'm not do, you know, I don't need, um, you know, all this, um, you know, I don't, I don't, and you know, and then when they lose, of course, they're like, oh, I hate this person. I hate this game. I hate that, that person, you know, because they, they literally beat me. And, you know, I think this is why, you know, in many ways, younger players, players who are just kind of getting only in the head strength of being, you know, winner, winner, chicken dinner from Fortnite. And, you know, Fortnite is one of the biggest issues of this of this winner winner like chicken dinner kind of thing you know it's like you know many people especially the young ones are like in try hard attitude just because they want to win just because they want that feeling of being number one and this is kind of in my opinion just absolutely sad it's not um in the spirit of you know in many ways it's not in the spirit of of just winning of actually you know of actually um you know just taking it as well you know this person beat me because they're better than me this person won because you know you appear because yeah this is something that happened you know but I mean, you know, as I said, this was just a basic short video of why winning, what winning means for most of us competitive players. It's not because we're the best. In many ways, most of us competitive players, most, most of the pros, they like winning and winning matters because it's a sign that our skills are improving. It's a sign that we have improved at least to a degree. We are, you know... We are in many ways a, a in 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 the driver's seat. We are, you know, we have our our skills and we're improving. You know, and, and you know sometimes it's because we're doing combo after combo. We're not breaking. We're basically getting like 20, 30 hit combos. But other times it's just because you know we like taking that that factor of us winning. But hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Um. And, um, yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button, get subscribed, hit that bell notification, because I know you want to know when my next video drops next. If you didn't like it on your hand, well, you know, hit that other button. But thank you, everyone, for joining me on this video today. I am usually live with some competitive game on Twitch um, every Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I am trying to make it an eventual um, six day a week schedule which will conclude with Monday and Tuesday being kind of a shorter one, two hour, maybe three hour stream and then Wednesday being a normal stream for like four to five hours, Thursday being a normal stream for four to five hours and then um, you know Friday I'm going to have a day off, Saturday I'm going to keep the normal stream and then Sunday may be a bonus stream. But thank you everyone for joining me on this video and until the next one, this is Akari. Signing out and saying farewell, everyone.